Hey guys, welcome to the session on Automation Anywhere. So as of now, in the last three sessions, we have learned how we can read data from an Excel file. That is how we can read data from a single cell, how we can read data from multiple cells, and how we can read data from all the cells from an Excel file. Those we have learned in the last three sessions. Now let's move forward and let's learn how we can read data from text file or a CSV file. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let's get started. So I will create a new task for that. I will click on new button. This is my new button. So I'm clicking on that and now I will choose this workbench. So here we are going to create a task. So what will be the steps? Let me write it down. So this will be my text file, which we are going to read, right? So the steps I will be writing. Steps to read text file or CSV file. So what we will be doing, open the file. And extract the data. And then do something with the data as we were doing for the Excel files also. Do something with the data. What we can do, we can display in the message box. Or what we can do more is that we can read from the text file and we can write those extracted data into the Excel file also. Write the extracted data into Excel file, right? And what after that in the Excel, when we were reading the data from the Excel, we needed to close that file, right? But here we don't need to close the file. So once the execution will be over, the task will close the file, close the text or the CSV file automatically. So let's see how we can do these steps in the automation anywhere. So let's get started. So this is, let's see, read from CSV or text. This is my command as you can see. So I will take this command. I have clicked over there and I will drag it to the task section. So this is my text box, command box, where I need to give some of the settings. So let's see. First of all, it provides an option for CSV or text. So as of now, I'm taking that text file. So I clicked on text and now it's mentioned to select file. Which text file do you want to read? So I want to read this text file which I have created. So I will give the path for that. So this is my text file. So I will click on open. So this is the thing. And now the delimiter that is uh, in my text file, I'm using the delimiter as comma. It is separating the two data values. So I am taking the delimiter as comma and trim. If you have any leading space or the trailing space, you can use the option as trim. So I have selected this one and now the session name. So I will give the session name as session one and what this session name refers to this session name maps to the text file as we have already discussed this into the Excel how how to read data from the Excel file we have already meant uh, already discussed this one so this session name maps to the text file okay so we have entered all the details over here and now I will click on save so I clicked on save and once you clicked on save, you can see there are four lines of commands which are available. So let's see what all are these. So the first line states that the text file path and all the details which we had given no trim leading space, trim trailing space and session name, right? So all the information is available over here. And after that, what is this? We have the start loop and the end loop. I mean, what this means. So once you open this text file, so whatever you want to do for that, there is a loop that automation anywhere provides. And what is that loop? 
each row in csv or text file of session 1 that means for each row this is the first row this is the second row third row and so on so for each row do something so what to do uh, as you can see automation anywhere is very very user friendly it has already provided use field data column as variable for each record in file so what was our aim our aim is to extract these values from this text file right so we want to extract these values from the text file so of course we will need a variable for that and automation anywhere has provided the variable name that is the system variable in the command use this variable for each record to get each record in the file and this is let me tell you more this is a system variable so why we are using the system variable because uh, once the data is extracted it is stored inside the memory and it can be fetched from the system variable right so this system variable we need to use to extract these values so field data column one will be used for the column one that is name tim joy nick and jacob and field data column two since this is denoted as column two so this will be used to extract marks 95 57 87 and 61 right so field data column one and field data column two will be used to display the data now that we are inside the loop and now we will use this do something step let me show you do something with the data that is first of all we will display it into the message box so let me add a message box over here so where is my message box so this is my message box i will click on it and i will drag it over here so this is my message box and once i press f2 that is I pressed F2 you can see the system variable there is a list of system variable we need to find this file data column variable so this let me find it file data column variable I got it and I clicked on it and I will click on insert so now you need to give the column number so as I mentioned so this name tim joy this will be column one and marks 97 57 these will be column two so let me first add the as column one and after that i want column two also so for that i will again press f2 and i will again move to the field data column sorry not field data column it's file data column so i will click on the file data column and i will click on insert and i will add the column number as 2 over here okay so what will be extracted let me write it down for the comparison may display data inside the message box so my message box will display the message as Uh, when the loop will run for the first time it will display the message as name and marks Tim and this 95 loop 1 this is loop 2 and so on it will continue right it will continue so this field data column 1 will refer to name and field data column 2 will refer to marks and the loop will iterate for all the rows so for first row second row third row fourth row and fifth row the loop will iterate and i will click on save and i will move the message box within the loop so yes i have created the task you don't need to uh, give a command to close the text file because once the execution will be over the task will close the text file by itself so i will save this task read from text save 
and I will run the task now. So let's click on run button. So my execution is over. You can see the first one displayed as name marks. Second row, third row, fourth and fifth row got over. So yes, my execution is successful. So what we did, we opened the file, extracted the data and we displayed the data inside the message box. Okay, and uh, yes, it was successful. And in the next video, we will see how we can write these extracted data into the Excel file, right? So if you have any queries for this session, please put it in the comment section below and I will try to solve your queries. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.